militant leader of Ulfa or United Liberation Front of Assam, Anup Chetia, has been handed over to Indian authorities after 17 years in a Dhaka jail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi himself had personally intervened in the case. India has been seeking Chetia's custody for several years now. And Monadipa Banerjee, my colleague, joins me from, the, from Kolkata. Monadipa, will his arrest reveal crucial information the CBI is seeking? Well, uh, certainly the Indian government is hoping that uh, Anup Chetia will be able to give much more details than they already know about the remnants of the Alpha group operating in Assam. Uh, Anup Chetia, who is also uh, sort of who was born Gulab Barua and is a former general secretary of Alpha, is son of Paresh Barua, who is still running uh, the Alpha and hopes and fighting for a separate state of Assam. Another leader, Arvind Rajkua, has already surrendered and is in talks with the government. So the Alpha itself is in disarray, but Anup Chetia, very uh, crucial uh, in this whole operation to try and clean up separatist elements in Assam. He was handed over, we believe, uh, on Wednesday, um, which is today, uh, at some checkpoint, a land checkpoint. Clarity over where exactly, still not there, though we are hearing he will be shortly produced in a court in Assam. He was arrested in 1997, December. So he has been in a Bangladesh jail since then. And there have been many attempts to get him out of the country and into in custody. That didn't happen because we didn't have an extradition treaty. But let's say in the last few months, uh, Mr. Narendra Modi has been in touch with Sheikh Hasina, Prime Minister of Bangladesh. He has gone there, met her, and there has been a strong push to get Anup Chetia released. We believe the Indian High, Com High Commissioner to Bangladesh was in Delhi the last couple of days uh, pushing to seal the deal. It has been done, a huge uh, step forward in Indo-Bangladesh ties and, of course, for the security concerns right. of India.